Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Freaky, and today is a very important and exciting episode. This is a huge milestone for my channel. I reached out to the developers of Miniland Adventures the day that it came out of Early Access, and I was generously given the game to play for y'all again. I really enjoyed it the first time I tried it out in the demo mode, and I feel like it's going to be even more awesome now. <laughs> but this is a thank you to the developer. Go check him out. I'm gonna list him down in the description of this video along with where you can find Miniland Adventures. Great game. Great dude. He's a very sweet guy. I can tell he put a lot of love and time into this game. So show him some love over on his channel. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's get on to the video guys. Okay guys, we have spawned on our brand new island, and we have three sheeps this time. Sheep? I don't know, what is the plural of sheep? Sheeps? I don't know. Anyways, but we need to collect some resources and make this island a little bit bigger. Okay, so we need to go ahead and expand our island. We need to make it bigger, so I have plenty of room for my roots to grow and develop. Guys, oh my god, this is a really big island. We started off with a lot of things we can collect. I think that calls for a time lapse. Let me put the rock biome down. Guys, this has taken a little too long to cut down all these trees, so I am going to see, not make a new biome, I'm gonna see if we can make a crafting table so that we can get an axe and a pickaxe. We need to make planks first. So let's go ahead and make some planks. I'll just, I'll make all of my wood. I just got into planks. We're gonna need it. And let's go ahead and make our workbench. Not a, what, what am I missing? Sticks, I have to make sticks too. Okay, I have made a couple of sticks, I've made a couple of planks. Give me my workbench. And we're just gonna pop it right there. Okay, so we made the workbench, and now with the workbench, we're gonna make a tool table. Okay? Tool table. It allows you to craft tools. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft some tools. This will help us a lot when clearing stuff out. I need a pickaxe. There we go. Okay, so now we can change between all of our tools. It's all sorted, looks nice. Okay, time for another time lapse. Hopefully this goes a little bit faster. Okay guys, so we got the entire island cleared off. It is time to start building the most wonderful part of any survival game? Do I think this is a survival game? So what I want to do first is I want to make- oh I just dropped my pickaxe. I want to make a little pin for all my sheeps like we did in the last episode. <laughs> okay so let's see if we can make some fences. I think that we're gonna have to make a carpenter table first. So let's move that down here, move that up here, and let's go ahead and make our furniture table. And lastly, we do want a furnace. I'm also going to go ahead and make a chest as well. Because, uh, yeah, we, we can't have too much in our inventory. So we're going to need as much space as we can get. We're just going to slap all of these items right next to each other. I know it doesn't look the best, but it's what we got to do for now. We'll get it sorted later, I promise. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our... Where is it? The furniture table? No, it's this one. Okay, we can make a fence using this one. And this time, I will not craft 20 gates instead of 20 fences like last time. <laughs> okay, so let's make one gate. There we go. And maybe like 20 fences? Maybe that would work? I made 25. We're gonna see how that works out. And let's just go ahead and put the little pin right here in the corner. They m We're gonna make it this big. This seems nice. Monsters gathering for day four. What monsters are you talking about? Oops, I did not make a door. There we go. Okay, so let's put our little 
thing down. And I think that sheeps eat the radishes from what I have seen. So let's equip that, put those fences there and get our stuff back where it was supposed to be. There we go. Look, I'm OCD. I, I gotta organize all the time. So let's get these little radishes out. Hopefully the little, little sheeps follow us. Hello? Now I'm the animal. <laughs> little sheeps, come in here. I wish I could get like, I don't know. I wish I could push them and put them in the pen. I literally watched the developer's game play on this before I made the video. And he used radishes to lead the sheep. Why isn't it working for me? Oh my God, I just keep eating it. Okay, well, last video, they just went in there for their own free will. So hopefully they do that again. Let's open this up. And if we see them walking in there, I'll close the gate and close the whole fence line. Let's work on our next objective, which is trying to start making a little house. I didn't make a house in the last episode and I feel like I'm really missed out. I need a place to call my own. So let's go ahead and organize our inventory and then we're gonna get started with that. Okay, now that we have a little more space in our inventory, let's go back to the crafting section and maybe we can start on some flooring. I don't think we can make anything other than the standard wood. So we're just gonna start with some standard wood flooring. We can make five. Can I make some more planks, please? The planks are just hand crafting. So let's make a couple of planks. I'll just, I'll make all of my wood into planks. There we go. Let's go ahead and make some more flooring. How many can I make? I can make 17. Okay, that's enough for a little tiny house. I kind of want to make it in the middle because we have that cute little stone right here that we can use to our advantage to make it look cooler. I'm gonna do it right here. I want it to be equal on all sides, but I don't think our island is big enough yet. So we're gonna do it too wide on every side and hopefully that's enough space for us. I'm not sure, but we'll figure that out. And next I wanna go ahead and start a little garden. I wanna start a little tree garden and I wanna start a little radish garden. Let's start the radish garden in front of our house. That'd be kind of cute, right? And maybe we can use some of our fences to make a little barrier around it. Okay, so let's take these fences, slap them down around the plants. Maybe like one there, one there. Excuse me, sheep. Ooh. Now I need a way to get down there. So let's put in a, our last biome in. We're gonna put it right here. Let me uh, go ahead and mine all of this out of here so I can access the plants. Hopefully they do not shrivel up and die if I don't get to them fast enough. I don't remember what happens if you don't water them. My pickaxe broke. Oh no. I'll just use my sharp stone. I'll craft one later. It won't take that long. Now we just have this tiny rock. Sheep, if you don't get away from my radishes, you need to go. He just took a bite. Mm -mm -mm. Well, next we're gonna plant some trees as well. We really need trees. I'm running out of wood because I'm making so much irrelevant things. And let's go water our plants. There we go. Okay, they're watered now. Lovely. And now we have a food source on the island. We may or may not die of dehydration and hunger soon, so I should probably take care of that. Um, I have not been paying attention to those stats. So to make fresh water, let's put our cup of salt water in there and then... I don't think I can make water at the moment. I used all of my wood for stupid things. Do I have any in my chest? I don't, I, I used all of my wood to make fences. Oh no, trees, you need to grow faster. We're gonna die. I guess in the meantime, we can at least keep our hunger up. I don't think that we can um, drink the salt water. I'm, I really don't think we can. We did get some more biomes since it's morning. It took me a while to figure out how to make the water. Let's go ahead and choose our first biome, guys. I really do like the bamboo. I think that we're gonna go for this little fall looking biome though, because we do need wood. Ooh, look at that. Are there any animals that are gonna spawn over here? We also got some savanna biomes, which we're gonna put on the other side. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and slap the savanna biome right over here. And hopefully we get a desert biome so it'll kind of blend in with the savanna biome. 
Let's see. So we got Oscar the Oscarage. I'm just saying, really good pun. Y'all missed it last episode. My editor thought it was the cheesiest, most corniest joke ever, and he said, you'll be embarrassed if I keep this in the video, so I'm taking it out. But we're keeping it in this time, right, editor? Okay, so let's go ahead and do another little quick speed run of clearing out the island. It's a little overcrowded now. Okay, so now that our island is cleared off yet again, looking nice, I'm gonna go ahead and open my inventory. There we go. And let's go ahead and plant some of these new trees. We got some maple seeds, so that's fun. New trees right here. They give us the dark oak, which looks nicer in my opinion than the standard oak. There we go. And since I cleared out that island, I was able to see that we got a little stairway down to the cave. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and craft a sword and go down there. Okay, so we got our sword. Look at that. And we also have some Arcadia seeds. So I'm going to plant some of those down here. There we go. I want all the types of trees so we can have all the types of wood. And before we go down to the dungeon, I do want to replenish my water. So now that we can do that, let's go ahead and make a fresh cup of water. There we go. Let's drink that up. Uh, how do I drink it up? There we go. Okay, we're going to have to do that a few times to fill our uh, water stat up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it actually took me like a few minutes to figure out how to drink the water again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's organize our inventory and then we are heading down into that little strange hole over there. Okay, now that we have everything ready to go, let's water our plants. There we go. Ah, There we go, our three little radishes. And let's head down into the depths. Okay, oh my god, we are surrounded, guys. Um... We need to try and get somewhere. I really didn't go in here too much in the last episode, so I am excited to see what this place has to hold. It has a spider right there. Oh my god, we got a ruby. Hey, let's go. We'll deal with the spider later. I don't really want to deal with him right now. I kind of want to explore a little bit more. Okay, now there's a little pathway we can follow. Um... I mostly just want to get ores. Oh my god, there are two spiders right there. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is y'all's health? Are y'all like really healthy spiders? And they explode at the end. What? Wonderful, I guess. We got a explosive substance from them? Huh. Is that a fossil we can get? Fossil. Bones. Ooh. I don't even know how big this underground area is. So, we're just gonna see about that. Doesn't look like it's too big, to be honest. Man, this game still has those weird sounds in the underground. I'm trying to get as much coal as I can. Oh my god, we're hungry. That was my stomach. That wasn't the monsters making weird sounds. That was my tummy. I didn't bring any food with me. Well, guys, we need to go up and get some food real quick, and then we will come back down and explore. Where is the... There's the ladder. Get me out of here, please. Okay. Where are my radishes? Okay. So now that our tummy is filled up, let's get back down there. That was too soon to be coming up to the surface. But we are good now. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just mine over this way. We saw the left side of the map. Now we gotta explore the right side, guys. I don't think there's anything up here, to be honest. Well, we gotta check down. I wonder if this is kinda gonna be like Stardew, where you have to explore the dungeon or explore whatever this place is and find a ladder that's hidden somewhere to get deeper. Oh, here comes the spider. Hopefully you don't explode on us, buddy. Oh my god, he keeps biting us. Oh. Well, we didn't die. We should use those spiders to our advantage. And 
destroy some some of the stone whenever they explode. I I think that that's gonna be it for the downstairs of this place. Unless there is like a little secret like ladder that takes you deeper. But I don't I don't know. Don't think so. <gasps> no, my pickaxe is a good thing I got another one. You know what? You never know if something's real until you figure it out. So I am going to painfully mine all of this stone and sand and materials so we can see if there are hidden ladders in this mine. everything in this mine. Yep, yeah, that is it guys. There was no secret ladder. I don't really know what I could use this area for. Maybe like a mushroom farm or something? Wait, we're gonna pause for a second and listen. There, that sound right there. I need to know, <laughs> developer, if you have watched this far, is that you blowing on your mic to make like a creepy little sound? That's what it sounds like and I was just like, what? is that so we mined everything out of there we have a bunch of resources now let's start to build our house a little bit further and i think this is a wall yeah it's a standard wooden wall i really want to make my house out of the dark wood but that would take so long my trees are not growing very fast we can always upgrade it later okay we can always make like a little shed to the side or something like that so we're just gonna make it out of the regular wood well i don't have any regular logs so i guess we are making it out of dark wood let's go ahead and craft a bunch of that stuff now we will make the walls i don't know how many we'll need so let me make a door just in case we have enough already okay let's smack those down i don't have enough to finish the flooring yet so we'll, we'll work on that so i guess we'll just do they have to be where did i put where do i put them ah there we go okay i was pressing the wrong button we're gonna do it like this and then we're gonna move all our stuff in here it's gonna look nice don't even worry about it guys I need, oh, I'm gonna have to move over their pin too because it connects to this. Not good. Almost there. Okay, so that's gonna be our little house. Let's go ahead and make a place for the door. We'll just make it on this side. I do want another door on this side as well. There we go. Let's cut down the fences that the dang sheep won't even use. Of course you're in it now. I might have to put it down somewhere else, kind of like trap them in there. We'll learn how to make a lead in the future, so maybe we could just do it easily that way. Let's put our little door down. There we go. Open the door. Lovely. Why are the sheep in my house? Get out! I made this house to get away from you guys. Well, I guess we have um, roommates. Okay, so let's go ahead and smack down all of our items. Okay, so let's put this down right here. We'll put our carpenter table next to it. Let's go grab our furnace and the other thing when we have space. <laughs> I'm gonna put the furnace right here. That looks good. What is this? Workbench. Let's put that right there. And all of our items need to go back in the chest. There we go. I should make a chest room. Let me see if I can cra uh, make that real quick. Maybe I'll do it on this side. It might look better over here if it's next to our other thing. There we go. I'm gonna make it about this wide. If I have to craft more walls, I guess I will. Maybe we can just increase the size of the house. That's probably a better idea. Can the animals leave? Please leave my house. 
there. Okay, we're gonna make it like this. Awesome. And I guess I should take this one off and put a door over here instead. Let's see, there we go. Open the door. Lovely, lovely. This is not a chest room. This is not how I envisioned it. Maybe a door here instead? Here we go. This might be a better place for the chest room. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our chest over there. Right here. I don't know, we can always move the furniture around later. I don't have a lot of space to work with, guys. Our island's a tiny bit tiny. Okay, let's craft some more chests, okay? We're gonna make three, cause I wanna save my planks just in case I need them. So let's plop them right here. We have four in total now. We're gonna move a few items around just so it looks a little nicer. You know what? It's it's better than nothing. Let me close this door so no sheeps and animals get in here. We only have to get two more out. Our house is only for us and we can escape the animals. Monsters gathering for day four. Guys, it's day three right now. Ooh, we're getting close. I don't know what these monsters are gonna be. I'm a little, I'm a little scared, guys. But until they come, I'm gonna go ahead and smack down some more islands. We didn't try an ice biome last time. Maybe we should go for an ice biome. We'll go for this frozen one right here first. There we go. We're gonna smack down a few more just grassy plains so our island is a little even. And I'm gonna put the icy biome on this side. So let's do one, two, three, four, and another one right there. Look at it, guys, there's a goat. There's a freaking goat on that island. Okay, let's go ahead and clear it off. I don't want anything getting too out of hand, you know. We're gonna get all this grass out of the way and we can replant the flowers in our garden when we're ready to. I'll probably make a little flower garden somewhere else. When these trees grow up, maybe I'll move them somewhere else to grow and then we can do like a little entryway to our house. What are, what are these plants? Broccoli? Are these broccoli? I wanna plant some broccoli in my garden. That is adorable. Okay. Nice selection of vegetables. I, I like the vegetables they added. Okay, now that our island is cleared off yet again, Let's go ahead and improve our farm a little bit. Let's go ahead and get these little flowers, put them up here. Uh, we'll get the broccoli. We're gonna go ahead and plan out how big we want to make our farm. I don't want a big farm in front of my house. I can do a farm somewhere else. So I think that we're just gonna make it too wide. That seems good to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and protect our crops from these wild creatures trying to eat at them. Oh my God, sheep, get out, please. <laughs> Wait, one left. Okay, follow your buddy. Thank you, there we go. Okay, here is our crop farm. Are there torches? I would like torches on my island. There's just animals everywhere, guys. I'm gonna look and see if there's any torches in the game where I can light up the island a little bit more. Okay guys, we have a tiny conundrum. I don't know where our coal is, and I know that I picked it up from the mining area. So we're gonna have to use our wood to make a little bit of coal. And while that is going, let's make another door for our house, cause we almost have all the animals out. And that's wonderful. The ostrich came in. As soon as that dang sheep left, the ostrich came in. Thank you for leaving. There we go, okay. Now, this is our home. It was a house before, but now it's a home, guys. Okay, let's see if our coal is done. Eh, it's, it's working on it. Do I not have enough wood? Yay, we got one piece. Woo, I really need more wood. Where were the torches at? We can make one. We'll put it next to our handy dandy chest. There we go, we get a little bit of light at night. I wanna make a bed sometime. I think we need iron to make a bed, which 
To smelt the iron that we got from the mines, I'm gonna need wood. So let's go ahead and see if we can introduce any new biomes. It's almost daytime. There we go. And those are our new cards. Look at this little dude right here. Trying to get in my house, eating the grass around my front door to make it ugly. Go, get away. The next biome we are going to select is something with trees. Maybe this red one, or maybe we can do the spruce one. Let's go for this foresty looking biome up here. That should give us a lot of trees. We also got a birch biome. So let's go up here a little bit. I want to expand up now. And we're going to smack some down right here. <gasps> Goblin boy? Okay, is that the monster? We're also gonna slap this uh, birch biome down over here. There we go. Awesome, and that should give us plenty of wood. Okay, what is this dude? Is he gonna attack me? Hello. <gasps> Carpenter, okay, so he's like a villager. Needs a goblin bed. I have to create houses for y'all too? Don't y'all even worry. I'll get to it after I get to my own house. So we can buy stuff from him like wood. Uh, there's probably other types of goblins and they give us other types of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and collect all the resources from these biomes. Why is he following me? Look, sir, um, are you, are you okay? Maybe he's lonely guys. He needs a name. Maybe we should call him like Robert or something. He looks like a Robert. Very lonely Robert. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna clear out all these trees and I will get back to you guys when I do. Okay, and that is all of the materials from the new islands that we got. Guys, if we don't start eating, I'm gonna turn into a cannibal and that would not be good for Robert. And I was debating on going ahead and chopping down these trees so we can replant them. So I want to clear them out right now uh, with my ax, not my pickaxe. Oh, the ax that just broke. Okay, let me make a new ax and then we'll get started on that. No! No! He merged through the door. He's in my house now. Do I need to make like, like a big moat around my house to keep the animals out? Like, leave me alone, guys. I really need to put these animals in a pen. I need to figure that out. We're gonna go ahead and make a new ax and another pickaxe. Then we can finish off the flooring of our house when we're done chopping down those trees. That's gonna be nice. I'm gonna keep the fences on me because after we cut down the trees and uh, put our flooring down, I wanna try and contain the animals again. We're gonna go ahead and chop down these trees now. Hello, Robert. Why does he follow me around so much? I have no idea. Okay, now that the forest is out of here, let's replant all of them up here. Maybe like right here. We'll do like six of each or nine, depending on how many I have. We'll do nine of each tree. Oh my, look at the sheep trying to get into my house. Two of them. Leave, please go. Crazy, crazy animals. Okay, so let's go ahead and gather all of our trees. Do you guys think I was robbed? Cause I'm missing all my acorns now. I had a whole stack of them and now I only have 11. So let's go ahead and plant our next set of trees. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And the last trees. I don't have any of the uh, savanna trees. So that's a little sad. Don't know what happened to them. They didn't give me enough. I just ate an acorn, that's not good. Okay, here's our little tree farm, looking nice. I might go ahead and just plant some right here so it's even. Let's just do some more spruce and the birch. There we go, that's our mix of trees right there. Okay, so that's gonna look a lot nicer. And next we are going to take out our fences and we're gonna try and contain the animals. Uh, Yeah, I'll do them on this side. So let's smack some down right here. Oh, they're all wandering in there, hurry. 
I don't have any more fences. Please stay. Please stay in there. Use all the wood. We'll we'll just make a, a ugly looking fence gate that does not match. Okay. We're gonna put that here. Where's my axe? <laughs> I got too excited. I threw my axe into my inventory. Okay. Uh, we'll just put it here. Hey, let's go. I think that's all the goats on the island, too. We just need to get the sheep in some place. The goats just spawned two skeletons. Oh my god, there's so many skeletons. Stay in here, Robert. Oh my god, there's so many. There's like 20 things and there's snowman. I don't really want to go out there and fight them. It doesn't seem like they're breaking anything or hurting anything, so I think we're fine. I'm gonna look through some of the other things that we can craft just so I can get an idea of how we're gonna do things on the island and I will let you guys know what I decide on. Okay, so y'all wanna see some magic? Okay, you see the unfinished floor? And ta-da! We now have stone flooring. I thought that it would match a lot better with the dark wood than dark wood with light wood. So here it is, and it looks really nice. I like the pattern of it. Very cool, very cool. I would love like a red carpet in the center, but I don't know if there is carpet in this game. But I do plan to take some more of the stone flooring and kind of make a pathway outside of this door. I think that that would be very, very cute. But yeah, we finally finished our house. Uh, I would like a bed, but I'm pretty satisfied with what we have already. But besides a bed, I think maybe a bookcase, some chairs, a table. Why would you need a chair without a table, you know? I take it back. There are a bunch of other pieces of furniture I would like to put in my house. We can also make a sandstone fountain, and that would be adorable outside. Oh my god, Robert. Please stop following me. I can't eat when you're over here in my area. I need to build him a house and lock him in there. Like, this is not good. Why are you doing this? Oh, he just went and stared at the wall. I want to make a really cute pathway around my island. Like, I want it to go down here. Uh... We'll need one more. Let's go ahead and craft some more. I want it to be connected to my little farm that's attached to my house. I think that would be really cute. So let's craft some more. I'm gonna need some more stone as well. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch because we, we get more stone than um, the trees. But you also can't regrow stone, so. E. <laughs> Hopefully there's a way we can get around that. I mean, that looks like something. Maybe we can put some more flowers right here. Make a little garden right about there. I don't think I have any more flowers at the moment though, so we'll have to fill that out later. What happened to my asparagus or wait, what was this broccoli? Oh, I think it shriveled up and died because I wasn't watering it. Ah, oh, I forgot. Eh, it is what it is, guys. Let's water it now at least. So I think that that is it for today. We made a really cute house. We got one set of animals in a pen. And our house is infested with sheep. Lovely. But I'm ready to call it here, guys. I really, really like this game. It has its own special charm to it. And it's just relaxing. I like relaxing indie games. Those are the best. But again, thank you so much to the devs for allowing me to try this game, giving it to me, and letting me play it for the full release. I really appreciate y'all. And if y'all like this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you. Bye, friends.